All right. I should probably be keeping better track of how many days in I am, but whatever. Day blank. <laughs> the, as you can see, the avocados have gone. They didn't do anything. Consistent with all of my other attempts at growing avocados from a stone, but either way. The celery... It seems to have stopped growing stalks. Um, it's focused more on growing leaves. Not sure what that means or if I'm going to have, you know, any celery worth snacking on, but that is, that was just a curiosity project. Now, moving over to the pumpkins, I've spun this around to get them growing straighter, but the pumpkins, which are on the right, and the butternut squash on the left are just growing like crazy. Um, a little hand for scale. Oh god, hands are dirty. Hand for scale. Um, the one on the left is about 120 millimeters, the one on the right about 100 millimeters tall. And the root system on these, my god, it's just grown through everything. Um, I have maybe about 10 or 12 cactus plants that are growing. They don't really look like cactuses, cacti, cactum, whatever. Um, I guess they sort of, you know, honestly, I've never really seen one in the wild. So the four seeds that look pretty terrible on the outside, those are peppers. It it really looks like they're not going to do well at all. I've got four additional pepper seeds over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I just put those in a couple of days ago. All I had to do, it's pretty awesome. All I had to do was lay another paper towel down on in contact with the others. And it just soaked up water through capillary action. And this has stayed wet for the last couple of days. So, I don't know. I don't know what to expect out of the pepper seeds. I I know I want to transplant these guys into something else, and I'm really not sure how to transplant these without destroying the roots. Um, I'm sure the roots have grown into that paper towel substrate, but we'll see. I have uh, no light, so I'll just bring it into the box. I have these expanded clay pellets, which are supposedly really good for hydroponics. And I want to give those a whirl. And I uh, bought a couple of plastic cups to put them in. Not really sure how that's going to work, considering I don't have, you know, a pump with an irrigation system yet. These were... I can't remember, like less than $8 for four liters of them uh, from the usual Swedish suspects. But yeah, that's, that's the state of everything right now. I'm really surprised at how, I think I've said this before, but I'm really surprised at how well the pumpkins are growing, considering they don't have any nutrients at all. It's just, they're just growing out of whatever sunlight they can get from this uh, reptile bulb and uh, yeah whatever they had in the seed so we'll see we'll get it together <laughs> 